one thing that you want to know about a queen, a true queen, when you think you're being smart, honey, a true queen will always one up. Like, come on through, cookie. I want to put my soapbox. That's basically Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What, cookie? <laughs> okay. Now, let's get into this. Like I said, a true queen will always one-up you. Because on a grand scale of 1 to 10, we work on a 15. So that's just the way that it is. And you need to know that when you go into that realm of thinking you being a smart bitch and trying to call a queen out, you don't want it. That ain't what you want, I'm telling you. And just just bear with me, and, and you'll see as I show you throughout this review. Now, this is season four, episode 16 of the have and the goddamn have not. We started right out where we left off. Jim Cryer is in there. Hannah and I just told him that Wyatt is dead. And he's trying to take her through all these different changes. They went on too long with that. Got on my nerves. How did he die? Did he die by himself? Did he this, that, and the other? Oh, did they find him? Where was he? Oh, how was... Child Hannah said, listen, I don't know, I don't know, and I don't know. His ass is dead, motherfucker. D-E-D. -D. Dead. <laughs> I was like, I know that's right, Anna. Then he won her. Please, I want you to give this message to Jennifer Salazar for me. Hannah's like, look, I don't work for you, and I ain't got none of this to do. I'm done with this shit. I done came down here to tell you that your boy done chipped in, and he's gone. And I said, I'm done. I, I'm, oh, I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I don't want your money, goddamn it. I'm out of here. So he was having a moment or whatever. They took his old ass on back there. That was that. So next we actually got, we got War and Benny and Mitch. Everything is in place. Mitch had left out. Mitch came back. Mitch put a, a tire in War's uh, car that has cocaine in it. And it's cocaine in the tire. This is not going to be good for War. Maybe this is not going to work out for you well. You need to know that. So they got all that together. Um, shit inside of there had kind of got all fucked up because it was after 5 o'clock and War was on his crazy shit, but Candace finally came through and sent a picture of the money to War. So he's like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, real stupid. Whatever, that went on too long, too. I was like, let's get to the shit. So he's like, okay, I'm fine. And I said he was going to meet Candace to get the money. Next thing we go over to Jeffrey and Melissa. Now, this is the Jeffrey episode. Trust me when I tell you, because that's the queen in question that we talked about. Okay, so just, just just bear with me here. So, Melissa and Jeffrey, they're in there going back and forth about the situation. Jeffrey let her know, bitch, I am not staying in this shit with you. I am pissed off. I don't like it. I don't want you. I don't want that motherfucking baby. I don't want to be living in here. All of this is some bullshit, bitch, and I am not with it. I am not on board. She's like, look, I don't give a goddamn what you say. I'm not in this because I want to be in this. I am stuck. I have an issue. Now, if you can figure out a way to take care of my parents and get me the money I need and, and a way that I can get back at that bitch of a mother of yours, then I'll do it. Let's do it. All right, Melissa. So, and he had told her, he asked Melissa, he said, how does it feel to be a two-bit whore? And she told him, I don't know. You tell me because you seem to be doing the same thing. Said, no, it's a little different because she's my mother. You're doing it for money. You're a two-bit whore. I said, oh, my, Jeffrey. But Jeffrey, don't speak too soon now because you, you run around fucking cops. And it was all for a good purpose in the beginning, but you ain't got nothing out of it yet. So at this point, baby, you ain't nothing but a two-bit whore, too. So, you know, you know, girl, you know right is right, wrong is wrong, honey, because you fucking Justin. And Justin, 
That's the most fuck shit right there. But it ain't no wars, no wars. Anyway, so um, next, you know, David shows up. So we got Veronica, David, and Jeffrey all. Now, they done ran in. David come in. He said, I come here to get my son. Jeffrey, let's go. Jeffrey, oh, no, I can't go. They went on and on and on with that shit forever. Um, he's, David's like, we're leaving. Jeffrey's not standing with you. Fuck you, Veronica, bitch, you're crazy. I filed for divorce and fuck you. And he's, he's like, Dave, come on, we go, Jeffrey, because she ain't got nothing on you no more. The shit with the car is over. You good to go, baby. Let's, let's hit it. He like, no, she do got something on me, but he wouldn't say what. And Veronica's sitting there, and this bitch is just getting drunk, okay? Just getting drunk. This bitch is just, by the, by the end of the scene, that bitch was sloshed, okay? But she's going on like, yeah, go ahead and talk to your father. She was really just going all into it, carrying on, and being very disrespectful. Phone rings. Alice, they come back up in there. So she's still treating Alice like an indentured slave, child. She um, gives her the phone, finds out about Wyatt. Wyatt is dead. That bitch did not give two fucks. She's like, oh, Wyatt's dead. We got to go over to the criers. So Jeffrey's not going with you, David. He's going to be coming with me or whatever. David's like, what? What do you mean? And so Jeffrey's like, say it isn't so. That's a lie. You know, whatever. David goes running off. She says, now, see, you're stuck here to drive your mommy over to the choirs because your dad just ran off because he has to go take care of Jim. He always goes and takes care of Jim, you know. And you're stuck here with me. First, his bitch died. Now your bitch is dead. Lots of drama. Lots of drama. I said, oh, she was really carrying on. Then she wouldn't get up and go. Like, he's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. She's like, we're going when I'm ready to go. I'm going to finish my drink. And he's over there, and then she goes and gets another drink, and she's steady talking shit, and she goes back into all that shit about how the baby, she's glad that the motherfucking baby is uh, a boy and not going to be a girl because it's too much feminine energy, and the fact that she's going to get a do-over. Oh, she was really carrying on. She's going to get a do-over because this time she'll get the chance to raise an actual man, not like you with those floral prints. This, I think, those tight pants. Now I have to agree with the bitch. The jacket is ridiculous and the pants are very, very tight. Jeffrey, I think you're very, very cute, but I hate this outfit. He looks ridiculous in this outfit. This outfit is giving me, um, I don't know, child Richard Simmons sees. I just don't like it. It's horrible. Um, so if they go on and on, she just keeps on, keeps on, keeps on, keeps on. Just just disrespectful. And I, I just didn't know how he was handling it. I couldn't. I love my mother to death. But I, I couldn't. I, I just couldn't sit under that scrutiny. I, I you know, I'm not gonna put my hands on her or nothing like that, but I'm not gonna sit up with her. Me and Miss Patty would have to, oh, girl, you doing too much. You're doing too much because if I keep sitting there, it's going to end up like that. So it just, you know, mm -mm. she was really doing the most. And you can see it all in Jeffrey's face. He was trying to hold it together. And the, the, the little boyfriend and dad, and she, oh, child, she carried on. We're not going over there until you get yourself together because you're not going to go over there whimpering and carrying on like a sissy, like a woman crying over some man and this that oh she just went on and on and on and he can say he's not it's not like he's my friend she's like mm -hmm. he was your friend he's dead i was like oh this bitch. then she gets up come on jeffrey she took her shoes off and she's she gonna say come on and drive mommy on over here so we can go see dead wyatt i said oh she better quit honey then she's gonna make him kiss and that's weird. Making him kiss Melissa. Kiss her. See, that's what feminine lips taste like. You'll learn to like it. We're going to be okay. We're going to be all right. I said, if this bitch start rapping, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall the fuck out. So I said, okay. I said, Lord have mercy. I said, okay, let's go. So they go on out. And um, 
let's jump over. I'm going to come back to that craziness because she continued on. Let's go to War and Candace. War and Candace meet up. They do the exchange. She is the two, gives them the $2 million. I said, do I need to count this? Because if $1 is not there, I'll fuck you up. You know, she's like, yeah, 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 I know, whatever, whatever. Long story short, this crazy motherfucker, that damn war, he went through that whole situation of, okay, we're good now, everything's fine. Yeah, I'm going to still be stopping by every now and again for a tune-up because you're good at what you do. And she going to say, yeah, well, if I'm so good, why am I paying you? He going to say, don't push it. Don't push it. And then he's, he's like, she said, oh, so you, you know, basically, you will keep breaking in my house and raping me, basically. He's like, no, 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 you bought your, you bought your self-respect back, this, that, and the other, and I'll call, or you going to answer the phone? She said, sometimes. He said, she said, I'm just joking. He's going to say, no, you're not. You're serious. You motherfucking right. You will not. Get any more voluntary pussy from that address, you motherfucker, with your cute ass. Get your ass on out of here. So in the midst of all that, so she sat in the car. She done broke all down. She cried and shit. And I think a lot of that, a lot of it was relief, but a big part of it was anger. Like, this motherfucker got my goddamn money. And she don't even know that she's really screwed, that all her shit's all fucked up. She don't have a clue. But anyway... War's driving, and he gets pulled over by the cops, and it all takes place, and it just ain't good. He got $2 million worth of cash. He got a gun on him. He got all this fucking cocaine and a tire in the fucking uh, trunk, but the first thing he sees getting together, he's going to say, you know what, Candace, you set me up, you bitch. So he's back. Wanting to kill Candace again. But Mitch is the one that perpetuated all this. But whatever. Ain't no need to worry about it. We know Mitch going to take care of it. We like Mitch. So Mitch will have to take care of it. Somewhere down the line, Tyler. So get that together. But I don't think that war, it's not going to be any time soon that war sees the light of day. Trust me. So that's that. So we ain't worry about that for now. Okay, so let's go over to the crier's house. We'll get to the crier's house. Hannah's there and Catherine. They come in. First funny motherfucking thing that happens, that motherfucking Veronica come in with her coat, take her coat and go just hold her arm out and drop the coat, thinking Hannah gonna grab it and motherfucker hit the floor. Bam! I said. And then she gonna say, Hannah, pick it up. She said, pick it up your damn self. I said, yes, Hannah, bitch. Pick it up your damn self. Then the bitch gonna say, Jeffrey, Pick it up. Child, Jeffrey was sitting on the couch with Catherine. Look, and I have to give, child, he was in his total feminine form, honey. He was sitting there and he was like, say it's not so. <laughs> saying, oh, Veronica's going to be mad at him. He was in there and baby, he was in his his inner queen. His queen was out. It, it was. It, it was what it was. You know, he was taking it real hard. He was crying, honey, and the more he cried, the mad of Veronica got. So Hannah was like trying to console him. And at one point, Catherine was saying, please, Jeffrey, please, you know, because I think she just didn't want to get caught up into what he was doing. And that motherfucker Hannah was like trying to, to console him because that's just natural for Hannah. That motherfucking Veronica will say, my son doesn't need to be consoled. Hannah looked up and said, and neither does mine, but you keep doing it anyway. I said, oh! <laughs> Child, then she told her, take your hands off my son. Stop touching my son. She said, I'll stop touching him when you stop touching mine. I said, oh! Child was getting deep and dark and dirty in here. Child, I said, oh my God. So they're going back and forth. Catherine's starting to pick up on some shit, and Catherine's still kind of clueless as to the, the Jeffrey, like, you know, she just not, she's in her whiteness, she ain't, we not gonna talk about nothing that ain't being talked about, I'm not gonna say nothing about your son being in love with my son, although I already know, but I'm not gonna say nothing like that, and Veronica keep leading up to it, but Catherine's like, they were friends, Veronica, it's his friend, he loves what, honey, she was carrying on so bad, 
she all but just called them faggots and care and she carried the fuck on grabbed his face and said look at these women look at all of them none of them are breaking down like you are and look at you this is not right this is just sad this, oh she went on and she went on and she went on i was so ready to yank her through the tv and shake her motherfucking wig off and i'm like I, I I I wanted Jeffrey to yank her, but I know you're not supposed to yank your mother. But he, the bitch needed it, so he she will say, "Why are you looking at that bottle?" He said, "Because I want to take you and hit you over your head with it." And she um she said, "Yeah, mm -hmm. you want to hit me over here with a bottle?" See, I told you none of this is right. Who wants to hit their mother over the head with a bottle? You want to hit me with a bottle? And Catherine's like, oh, Jeffrey. She said, he's not going to do it. Only a real man would hit someone with a bottle because to hit someone with a bottle, it takes heart, something that he doesn't have. You don't have the heart to hit me, boy. This, that thing, the other. One thing that I did forget when they were over at the house, this was the one that I thought was the worst. This is when I probably would have slapped her. And that bitch said, I got a half a mind to get Quincy and have him beat your ass again. How was that ass whooping? See, at that point, she had crossed the line. And I was like, okay, so the mother thing is kind of, I, I really wanted him to literally backhand the fuck out of Veronica and watch her wig just fall down the back of her neck. Because that was so fucking out of order. How was that ass woman? And then she gonna say, oh, but you got him back though, didn't you? You got him good. Girl, you did that. I said, oh no, she did. <laughs> yes, she did serve him. Girl, you did that. You did that, honey. I said, oh, she was really doing too much. But anyway, so let's get to the fact that I already said that a queen will always one up you. So they went on and on. Veronica carried on and Tyler, you did this, motherfucker. You did this. He won up the bitch. She kept going on and on about the bottle. Let me tell you what little Mr. Jeffrey did, honey. He didn't hit her with the bottle, baby. There was a tray, because Anna had made a tray of food. So there was a bottle of water, like a Perrier water, and there was some utensils and some food on there for Catherine. Catherine hadn't eaten it. He won up the bitch. He didn't hit Veronica with the bottle. He took the motherfucking steak knife and motherfucking Jason Voorhees shanked the bitch. And I lost it. He gave it to her so motherfucking good. All you heard was that motherfucking dress rip. I said, oh, he fucked Veronica's ass up. And everybody was giving this. Oh, I said. <laughs> bitch, a queen will always what up you. Fuck a bottle, bitch. Who needs a bottle when I got a Ginsu? He stabbed the fuck out of that motherfucker Veronica. So now all that motherfucker shit talking you did, now they can take your ass to the ER, bitch. You need to shut your mouth and stop being so nasty. And from here on out, we could just refer to Jeffrey as cut him up cut honey. He fucked her up. I said, Jeffrey, you really getting good at this stabbing shit, honey. Don't be around Jeffrey and no knives be around, child. Not at all. Not at all. I said, oh my gosh. So I was really thrown back by this. This was just too, too much. Too, too much. So I don't know. We'll see where we're going to go from here, honey. But he just stabbed the shit out of Veronica. The have and the have not, honey. Who Lord, thumbs up, thumbs down. Y'all know how all that works. And I will talk to y'all next week, honey. I cannot wait. All right, y'all. Bye.